Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be viewing into my boxy charm. So in this month, you were able to pick out one thing. For some reason, they did not send me an email for January boxy charm because I did not, I was not able to pick out anything. And I saw the spoilers on Glam with Suzanne. She does the spoilers for the next boxy charm, which I'm kind of addicted to watching. Um, so Glam with Suzanne, she was telling us all the things that you could pick, and I did not do the pretty vulgar. I got the pretty vulgar thing, the undercover eye thing, but I never used it. So if I get a complexion product. I'm hoping it will work. If not, I'm just gonna give it to donations. The first thing is the boxy charm is whimsy. So that's what this month is about. You get full five products. So the first thing I got is this um wow, Sephora Botanicals uh lip exfoliator with radish extract. Okay, so I have a lot of lip exfoli a lot of lip exfoliators right now and a lot of lip masks. So I have Laneige, I have Bite Beauty, I have the scrub from Jeffree Star, and then I have Dr. Dan's like chapstick stuff. So I'm gonna put this off to the side, but I read what is this is about. This is retails for $24 for this little bottle. So that is pretty good price range of almost the boxy charm box. Uh, this gentle lip scrub infused with radish and chamomile extracts, as well as chai seed oil to keep lips smooth, cleansed, and conditioned. The unique blend of soft golden sugar in a healthy base avocado, apricot, jojoba oils, right? Jojoba, joba oils, as well as shea and coconut butter further helps protect lips from any future chapping or flaking. This is going to be a new product that I'm going to try later. I already have my masks and my lip stuff open and I want to keep using them. I do like the Laneige Lip Trio Mask, that like $18 thing I got. I really love using that for my lips. My lips are actually pretty good right now. And I also use the Bite Beauty and I also use the Scrub from Jeffree Star. So those are my go-to ones that I really like using. And I might try this out later. Just because I don't want to change my lip, my lip routine right now because I they are pretty actually really good right now. They're actually pretty soft, and they're not chapped. So, is the Saturday Skin? I've heard of this brand, never tried anything from them. This is the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. So this retails for thirty nine dollars. She's pretty pricey, and I think this is a full size product. So this is what it looks like and I'll read what it is. This is an anti-aging glacier water cream that delivers mineral rich moisture while protecting skin from free radicals a fusion of thermites, amino acids, plant extracts help calm skin while boosting validity and its supple suppleness. Wow, wow, I cannot read today guys, I'm sorry. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I actually am gonna try this on camera because I feel like I've been really doing like a really good morning routine where I put in my moisturizer and then I put like an oil in. Ooh, so this is very watery. Um, I'm actually just gonna do like two, maybe two little drops on my hand and then just gonna put it in the skin. So it feels kind of like a jelly base. Um, Feels like really hydrating. Um, kind of feels like a jelly primer. I feel like I've said a lot of jelly primers go. I'm gonna go down the neck and just put it on. I feel like my face is like starting to get really dry. I've also been breaking out in the worst places ever. Like I broke out right here, which is horrible. I don't like that. And then I broke out over here. I had a huge, huge, huge blackhead in there, which is really weird um, because I don't know it's just it was really big she, my esthetician said and then I had some acne down here that's healing but this one popped up a couple days ago and I used the peace out um peace out strip the peace out little stickers that I've been putting on my face I put it on my face yesterday and it kind of just like calmed it down a little bit but I've been kind of picking at it I really don't like it um but yeah so that's the only one that's broken out my face has actually kind of been getting back to normal all right the next thing is the brow product Ooh, okay so this is the brow bar true brow brow makeup kit i am in shade dark they gave me dark i don't think dark's gonna work guys 
Um, we'll read what it is. So this retails for thirty dollars. Wow, that's expensive. Uh, style your brows with a pro with the ultimate brow kit designed with two long wearing brow shades, brighten brow lift, sculpting mascara gel, uh, angled brush, and a flat brow brush. Okay, well, we're gonna try this. It's in dark. I think I'm in medium. I don't know if they were going off my quiz, but complexion products are really hard. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. And as you guys can see, that concealer is way too dark. Way too dark. Um, well, and this is a black. It's like a black. Like, that's not going to work. Um, but we are going to do it. It gave you a little brush, which I don't really like, but there's a powder in here. And I don't know, we're just going to go in here and use it. It's a little powdery. You know what? We're just going to use it. I mean, I'm going to use a bigger mirror. Um, so I'm going to use this mirror. This is the Sonia Classic mirror I got from like a long time ago. All right, so we're just going to go in. My brows are kind of dark. I don't really like this pencil at all. So I'm going to go in with my brow brush just because I don't like that. This is the brow brush. I think this is just like a really nice brush. But, okay, here we go, guys. So it's not that bad of a color. The brown one isn't. The black one probably will not work for me at all. I do use powder. I've used powders by Rimmel London. Um, I have used theirs quite a bit. Um, their brow packs actually have worked for me pretty well in the past. Um... But, um, anyways, uh, they've worked for me in the past. I've used Rimmel. Um, I don't have any of the, oh, I just got some right there. I don't have any of the other brows. Like I use, I use pomades. I use the Maybelline, uh, t Tattoo Studio pomade. I use the Ulta brow tint. I really do love that. Those are like my go-to brow ones. Um, this is actually not a bad shade. But as you guys can see, I have little baby hairs in here and stuff. So, um. You know, I do need to get my hair sculpted and stuff. So that's not a bad brow, I don't think so. What do you guys think? I don't think that's a bad brow. They're really bushy right now. That's because I've been kind of lazy with them. I don't like plucking. I just rather have them ripped out. I don't know why. I just don't like plucking. It's one of the things. My mom really wants for Christmas a mirror where it comes in really close so she can tweeze her brows. She's actually okay tweezing her stuff, her brows and stuff. I just don't like it. All right, oh, see, see right there. So I'm just gonna try to, like with powder, you can kind of like manipulate it a little bit and it can go the area you want. All right, so the brows are done. I think that's not bad. It's a little dark, but I mean, it works. So um, I also might use this to prime my lids as well. So, just because it's in the pan and I don't, yeah, see, this is really too dark. This is really too dark. All right, so this is too dark. So you can't use this to clean up your brows, but I will use this to put on my um, face. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm not gonna use this brush again because I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna go in with like a big brush and I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna basically put this all over. I don't like this little mirror either. So that's not really great for me. I don't, I don't like that little mirror either. Basically I'm gonna pick up a lot of product and I'm just gonna put this over the lid and just kind of set the lid so we can get it ready for eyeshadow. Um. So I will be using this for like the eyes, just for like doing the eyes now from now on. So this might be like a good lid primer to use. I use concealers for lid primers all the time. Um, but this one isn't a good like actual concealer match, which I'm kind of disappointed about. And that black will not work. It might be a good uh, maybe eyeshadow base or like an eyeliner, like a black eyeliner. But the brown is basically the only thing I can use in that. And 
Yeah, she's pretty dark already. All right. So my uh, thoughts on the brow bar, not the best for the concealer. The concealer is actually pretty dark on my face right now. So that is a no. This is just a big old black. I'll swatch it. That's just a big old black. That's not going to work for my, my brows. The brown one did work. I will say that it worked. It worked. They're not bad, but they're not as like the greatest for me as a person. This is kind of like a really dark brow. I don't really know, but this is probably not my least favorite product in the boxy charm. I will try the brow bar. Um, I guess this is like a, like a tint or like a, wow, I can't get this open. Seriously. It's like, real. oh, got it. I got it. I got it. Finally. All right. Whoa. Okay. So I don't like the wand. It's very big. I'm not a huge fan of big wands. We're just going to go into the brow very lightly. See, I got a drop right there. I don't like the brow. I don't like the brush. It's very, very big. It shouldn't be that big. It should be about half that size. And I'm basically, I got like some dropped right here. So I'm just going to pat that out with the concealer. Okay, so the eyes are primed. So this is $30, and I would say that this is my least favorite product from this brand, um, or in my BoxyCharm, I just don't like it. All right, the next thing is the, okay, so this is the Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics. Um, this is retails for $35, this is like a little book. Um, Storybook Cosmetics is like that. So you get it in a little book and this is what it is. This is the imprised by the classic tale. The storybook mini palette has created exclusive for Boxy Charm and is as beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside. We can be combined stunning metallics with velvety matte eyeshadows to help you create your happily ever after look. So it looks like I got a red storybook with the little red riding hood and this is what it looks like in the inside. So I'm going to try to use as many of the colors as I can. So basically I'm going to use this journey to set the concealer and it probably won't show up since the concealer is so dark. I'm sorry guys. It's just not going to show up um, because the concealer is just so dark. So it's probably not going to show up, but if I did use a normal concealer, it would show up. And this is just like a really nice, like, peach shade like a really nice light peach so I'm just gonna set the concealer on my lids I'm not gonna set them on my um just setting that down um if I used a lighter concealer it would show up for you guys I'm not gonna lie but I used the concealer that was in the palette so probably won't be using that concealer again but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do, what you, what you got. All right, so now that I have that down, I'm gonna go in with the shade called Basket, this one right here. And it's a light brown shade, which is a really good transition shade. And we're just gonna flutter this into the crease and hopefully she's pigmented. Okay, she is. She's gonna work her way in there and work her way up. So basically, I'm just putting this crease and going back in window wipe motions. I'm kind of flailing it out a little bit because I am going to clean up the outer layer here later. But I'm basically just putting this in the crease and kind of just fluffing it out. I'm using my Wet n Wild uh, P20 brush, if I didn't tell you guys. Um, let's go in with this one, Bad Wolf. I really want to try this color. Actually, let's swatch them all just because I'm probably not going to be able to use all these on the face. Um, and I'll use the last matte in here. This is Woods, a light matte brown. 
This is Bad Wolf, which I'm thinking of using all over my lid. This is red. It's a red metallic. And this is pearl. So I'm thinking about using Bad Wolf on my lid because I really like that shade. And I'm thinking about just putting it all over the lid with my finger. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And the colors are really pigmented. They're very pretty. I really do like this book. It's taking me out of my comfort zone. And I do like reds. So I'm going to go in with Bad Wolf. And I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to put it all over the lid. Oh, damn. She's nice. She's nice. I like that color. Okay. We're going to go into this. I like that. That's a really pretty color. It's definitely unique because I've never had a color like that on my lid, but I do like it. It's not something I usually gravitate towards. All right. So now I'm basically just going to take a makeup wipe and clean up the edges. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to go off camera and finish most of my face because I only have one more item left and then we are done. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I did the rest of my face off camera. And now the last thing we are going to be going into, we are going into the Ciate uh, Marble Light Medium Blusher. This is $26 and this is add a radiant blush of color to your complexion with a marble light illuminating blush. Formulated without tack, this lightweight buildable formula has a blend of matte pigments, finely milled illuminating particles. So I got the shade, uh, I don't see a shade. This is marble light. Maybe it's on the back of this thing. We'll see. So, oh, the packaging is cute. This is called Halo. So this is, the packaging is so cute. Um, so this is the color I got. And in coat the brush we're just gonna we might have to build it up because swirl it around in there get much pigment okay so she's coming up you just gotta build it up mm, I don't hate it I don't hate it I think it's actually really pretty I really like it. It's very pretty. This is the final look. What do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are. The only thing I really didn't like was this one. This would be a hard pass for me. But everything else I really liked. I liked the book. I liked the blush. And I liked the hydrating. The only thing I didn't use was the lip thing. The lip exfoliator. But everything else was really good except for the brow kit. And as always, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. And if you don't like me, I really don't care. This is what I like doing about makeup. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.